This is Twit. Uh, Apple just created and killed, according to TechCrunch, a generation of AR businesses. Um, tell me, so what did Apple announce and what are we projecting? What are we, like, for instance, we're projecting because of the extra power in the new iPad Pro, there's going to be AR capabilities coming in the future. I mean, they showed it, it off, so they introduced... Yeah, go ahead, Annie. Oh, just 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 quickly that uh, it's a great headline because uh, AR, augmented reality used to be something that you you really had to roll yourself and it was exotic technology. You had to either be someone or hire someone who knew how to do all the GPU stuff, all the graphic stuff, all the uh, tracking stuff just to get anything going on AR. And then Apple comes along and says that we will we, AR kit. Uh, will tell you that there is a flat surface where that flat surface is. It will tell you, it knows where the light source is. Uh, it knows where what the user is doing with this phone. So really, to a, to a certain extent, all you have to do is give us a 3D model of something, point us to the what surface it needs to be on. We will not only place it there to, so it looks like it's on that surface, be it a table, the floor, a, a, piece, of, a, piece, of, a piece of road, but we will also make sure it matches the lighting and it's properly scaled for wow. what is around it. So you and don't so, have to do anything. This is all a library built into the... Uh iOS. Yeah, it's, it's not as easy. It's not as easy as click and drag, but it means that so much of your work has been done, which is why the the first episode of uh, uh, the Planet of the Apps that I saw was hysterically funny. This is the one where people are pitching their brilliant app for for investors, and they, this whole thing is we spent so much time and money and effort developing an AR system that nobody else has. That and now we can sell this to like IKEA. If IKEA wants to ha write an app that has a, puts a piece of furniture in someone's home, they can actually they'll go to us for the technology because our technology is so expensive and so horrible horribly complicated and we'll do it so easily it's that no there is ar kit and ikea's own in-house people can probably do that themselves now yeah uh, so uh, matthew panzerino and TechCrunch said that pear which was the app that you saw on uh, planet of the apps inaugural episode has been sherlocked <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah <laughs> whoops already i don't want to i don't want to laugh because it's horrible news no, for any developer it's bad news. but it's like yeah. oh my god I, I wonder if they chose this as the first episode to to distribute because they knew that oh by the way we we, we got to look at the at the keynote rehearsal and this guy's life is going to get a lot different <laughs> uh. That's, yeah, that's no, I mean, it's, it's super interesting. Like a couple of years ago, Apple acquired a company, I think it was called Mateo or Mail. It was, it was TechCrunch reported on at the time. Right. And they had a, it was a really user friendly or forward friendly API. And Apple acquired them and they acquired some other companies. And they've been working on this for a while. Uh, and it has a couple of really interesting things going for it. Like Andy said, it, it, it just does a lot of the hard stuff. We saw a demo where. Well, we played uh, Star Wars Hollow Chess with Jabba the Hutt, which is lucky because Chewbacca can pull your arms off his arms. Really. It's too short. Do not um, beat the Wookiee. But it's great. And you could put like a, a lamp on the table, a chair on the ground, and a, a coffee cup on the table and move the iPad around. And it, it knows what services to stick those to. And as you move the coffee cup around, it does the scaling for it. And we put it next to a cup. And for a second, the guy's like, ah, I forgot which one was real. And then tried to move both of them. Uh, and it worked really, really well. And you really do see the power of these new iPads behind it. Um, but what's cool is like you can see Tim Cook's excitement about it. Like he he, he has not been able to help himself talking about how cool uh, AR technology is and and where it can be everywhere. Uh, but what was really impressive too is they showed like sort of exactly like we, we predicted on on Mac Break Weekly a few weeks ago. The Poke even something as simple as a Pokemon Go demo. It just it makes the game better. And they don't have to switch over to Apple technologies to metal or to AR kit to do it because Unity will do that for them. So it'll just make the experience of playing AR games on iOS better. You know, I don't want to use it for free term because it's abused, but technically right. for free for a lot of developers. And it'll it'll be in IKEA and it'll be in Pokemon Go and it'll be in all these apps. And it'll be great for education where you can you know hold it up in the classroom and for tech support where you hold it up and you know which exact button to press to reboot that server when no one else is around. And I'm super excited about it as well. Panzerino's quote, from his article on TechCrunch, Apple just built the AR industry's shovel. Now all you have to do is decide where to dig. Yeah, um, that that's, that's pretty so exciting. Yeah. But so let, are let, people let adopting it already? Uh, besides IKEA, I mean IKEA did, but who I mean, is this like? Are we going to see a million apps in five minutes? Uh, uh, well, when, when iOS 11. <laughs> oh, we're, we're, gonna iOS 11. Million, we're going to see a million Pokemon clones in five minutes. The first the minute that iOS yeah, 11 right. ships, but after but after Happy, that, I'll look. I, I'm looking for the person who just has this brilliant idea. They're they're a brilliant man or woman. They just aren't brilliant about AR. But now Apple has made them AR brilliant. And so if they want to make this app that will put hang a mural anywhere you want it to go, uh, or just going to my my favorite my favorite conjecture is the idea of walking through London and saying going through the Tower of London and saying well or if you turn on this AR app 
where we will put you where you are standing right now the way it would have been when it was an active prison for upscale <laughs> british ro british royalty and just turn around and look at nope that that's new oh wow oh my god there's like lions and bears and a, and a duck over there that in cages what's that all about just the idea that things that can be done with someone's imagination and Apple will bring the API for, for Here's the a guy named Cody Brown made a, a demo with AR kit and uh, created uh, this is uh, Widowmaker, one of the characters from Overwatch in his house, including, <laughs> by the way, fog and lighting effects. Uh, that's terrifying. Uh, well, you've and seen he, like he, on the Vive, Leo, they have people who've just used the Unity or the 3D yeah, uh, Unreal Engine to make yeah. amazing games on the Vive, like like a, a lightsaber simulator. Just one person made it, or that I forget the name of that Dungeon and Dragons game, but they're amazing. And because of the tools, they can make these games. And this this is giving them the tools. Imagine playing Overwatch in your room. Terrifying. Um, I mean, I'm not excited by this. This is kind of amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so uh, so as have you played? I mean, I. Uh, how hard is this to to work with? Is it? It's in Sprint Playground. It's sorry, it's in uh, Swift Playground. It is, so we can try yeah. it. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. So you, you, yeah, which I think is a great move by Apple to get people of all ages just thinking of AR. And I think it was also really canny of uh, Tim Cook a while ago, where he sort of implied that for Apple, AR was not a specific product. It wasn't a set of goggles or spectacles yeah. or anything else. It was what was going to be a pervasive technology throughout all their product lines. And this is a huge first step in that direction. Yeah. yeah. And, and what a great. It probably wasn't a. Res it was too in the cards too long to be a response to anything. But what a great bookend response to the Google I.O. keynote in which they were showing a, a brilliant stuff that Google's doing with augmented reality but it's all about and when people buy these devices when people buy the special phone these special sensors and when when this device which is not available to consumers yet but it's in developers hands Apple has said you know what the you know the device you're using to watch this keynote right now yeah. Well, in six months, it will be your AR device. You already own it. Just you might want to delete a couple of apps first, but if it's if you're taking too much space, but you're good. I think Scope Scoble was right. Maybe this is a very interesting. It's not what we thought. What it's what it is, yeah. and it's very smart. Is it enables developers, all of whom are you know want to try this. So the guy who did that uh, Overwatch uh, demo, Cody Brown, is a founder of a virtual reality production studio called IRL. Here's the quote from Motherboard: The most impressive aspect of AR kit is it tends to just work. Other AR software often requires some sort of physical tracking mechanism like a QR code. You know, you have to p point your camera yeah. at something, which inevitably becomes a major piece of friction if you're trying to get anyone to use this stuff. Another incredible aspect of AR kit is how it handles lighting adjustments in real time. I can only imagine the math and magic underneath this tech to make it work. Here's a, a Kyle a Russell uh, tw tweeted uh, just a... a, a a picture of a jet on an iPad, but he shows you how the jet maintains its positioning even as you move around it. You can walk around the object. It's pretty darn smart. And the fact that these guys are making these demos already is very interesting. So uh, this makes the iPad particularly, I think less so the iPhone, but it makes, but certainly the iPhone. But but this makes iOS very intriguing, yeah. right? And it's sort of the democratization yeah. of technology that Apple has been involved with, you know, at least you know since Steve Jobs started the company, where now AR is accessible to you know people who have hundreds of millions of devices, and even things like Core ML, which sounds all, uh, which sounds like a niche thing, they made it open so you can pull in models from any source, and and it, they'll just all convert to Open ML, and that will make. Uh, machine learning more accessible to everybody and there were a series of technologies they sort of announced in rapid fire craig federici fashion that could be transformative on their own but when put together I and mean, how long is it until that airplane is using machine learning to fly around that room right. without hitting objects right. it's, it's going to be great and what's what's really exciting is unlike google's project tango you you already have the hardware yeah. that you need it's been built in i pres now will the iphone 7 uh, have enough horsepower or we're gonna have to wait for the next iphone it's an A10, so it's the same horsepower that's in that iPad. Um, yeah, and what's what's super smart about this is if Apple ever does get into AR uh, hardware, they will have had all this content built out for them on their platform already. Brilliant, right? Don't do the hardware. Yeah, uh, just make it possible for soft for developers to do it. Um, wow! You, 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 you achieve you, you achieve a new level of power and and uh, and destiny when you decide to let go of control of your own platform and you say we're going to let the entire world discover the awesome of a tool we're not going to build something and ask people to buy it and support it and this is very much uh, that kind of a thing
this is Sean O'Kane who collated a bunch of videos and GIFs. This is a uh, iPhone-based AR fidget spinner that's on <laughs> that looks like it's on your table. Is it as stress-reducing as a real thing, though? <laughs> no, probably not. But that's a pretty good demo. I yeah. mean, if you've played with uh, previous AR, even Pokemon Go, you realize it, they don't have that kind of they don't feel stable in the environment as yes. you move this stuff around. This Which stuff is, is rock, about. rock solid. The future, this is the future of business graphics. Put a barcode, float a barcode over your desk. This is from Azam Sharp. Was this shown at WWDC? This, by the way, 60 yeah. frames a second. Yes. Yeah, no, it's great. And think about your first day at a new company. Like if your first day at the Apple AC2 campus, you have no idea where to go. You hold up your iPhone, and little AR, AR assistant walks you right to your desk. I mean, there's just so many things that this would be interesting for. Brandon us. Sidebottom, doodling with a new AR kit. He says, if you want to vandalize without the messy consequences, start spray painting your kit. <laughs> and you put in AirPods and suddenly you have AR audio as well oh, as video. Man. I mean, this is very intriguing. I have to say I was skeptical about what Apple would do, but this is exactly the right way to do it. Uh, and, and, and then they own it, by the way, because <laughs> you have to have an Apple device to do this. It's Krieger's wife. <laughs> Uh, virtual pets. Look at that. Yeah. Have a dog in your house. Um, wow. Okay, I might. VR. They announced support for both. I might just buy a Scoble dinner just because because I'm so impressed by this. <laughs> it's not what he <laughs> said. It's not exactly a clear iPhone. Although if you think about it, if you get the screen big enough, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's certainly. I think so. The uses are going to vary. An iPhone, sure, for navigation. But an iPad is going to be pretty interesting uh, because... Workout apps because you have to hold it up while you're doing the workout. So then you get the arms going yeah, too. Yeah. Here's a BB-8 in your uh, kitchen. Look at that. So great. And it really look at the shadow. Uh, yeah. Look at how well it adheres to the floor. Um, yeah, this is this is exact. scaling as well. Just yeah. that, that just that is simple is is brilliant enough. The idea that it's is the right size when you get near it, it everything is just scaling properly. Wow. That is nice. And as you fidget with the iPad, it's staying rock solid. Right. So, do you think this is technology Apple acquired, uh, developed in house? Yeah, both. Uh, both. Yeah. From a few years ago, and then they added its own Elfin Magic Act. Access to the burritos in the in the Apple commissary has its own. <laughs> sort of gamma ray effect on an, an, a good acquired uh, company. Here's uh, Adam uh, Debrish, Debrishenz, Sheb, Debrisheni, sorry, Adam. He, uh, he took the map of his bike ride and has superimposed it on his coffee table with uh, the terrain and everything. Um, that's Unity plus AR yeah. kit plus map box plus Strava. Okay. Yeah. Think, okay, think, I'm think, sold. I, uh, and in education, this is going to be so brilliant. Yeah. You, you think about the ways that when when we were growing up, we had calculators, but we didn't really have data visualization easily on the computers that we had back then. And now when you're learning math, you don't just understand trigonometry. You understand how cosines and all those functions work in 3D space and 4D space just by playing with them as graphical objects. Now imagine when you have the ability to not just understand here is a photo of Machu Picchu and here is a photo yeah. of the bottom of the mountain and if you the ability of the kids say okay guess what you're in a helicopter and you are here are the controls of the helicopter and here's machu picchu we'll be back in a half hour to discuss everything that you've seen that's it really does get you everybody excited and if it doesn't check your pulse man yeah wow 